I rejoice with you on this occasion and wish you many more years of service to humanity and to Nigeria in particular. I've heard and observed your efforts in identifying with the needs and aspirations of the people around you. Indeed, a lot of dejected and frustrated minds and communities have been given new lease of life through your activities which included the provision of social and welfare services. This notwithstanding, I wish to urge you not to rest on your words in your determination to assist government in making life meaningful to the people. It has to be understood that the economic crunch is a global phenomenon. It is all over the world. And government with its weekly revenue cannot be left alone. I therefore thank your honorary chairman of today for exhorting all voluntary organizations in Nigeria and the world over to assist our state government in its drive to provide amenities for the common people. I also therefore noted the, your two main objects the two main uh, projects that you are going to do for the rest of this year as a charter club. And in this respect, I will say that the donation of the Labour State Government to you will be that you please link up with the Labour State Water Corporation. The general manager of that corporation, the acting general manager presently, is a woman. So that you can know the proper place to cite your project, the two tabs you want to, uh, to cite, so that when you are citing it, it will not cost you too much money in respect of laying the pipe that will link to the tab. So, because if you don't cite it where it is economically viable to link with the main trunk, you may be having to use too many pipes to connect your tab to the main water pipes of the state. Perhaps it is pertinent at this juncture to remind you also, as professional women from all walks of life, it is only relevant that you bring your professional colleagues to bear in the development of womanhood in Nigeria. It always pains me anytime I'm called out to any women organization <coughs> uh, function such as this. Anytime I observe that it is not well prepared for, it pains me personally because I know that women in our private lives we bear the front, the, the real heavy load of the society before we can cope with our families and also take on our profession. It, it, you know, women should be given honor all over the world, especially African women, because we combine the work of so many aspects of life. We are the ones that bring up children practically, as well as having to cope with the, uh, I do, uh, 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 the, the task of the office. Whereas, you know, our counterparts, they go to the office, they give us the little they can, and when you are trying to bring up the child, all they do is, oh, don't do that. Whatever that child needs, taking his bath or her bath, doing this and that, rest on the women. I know there are some men that actually help their wives to take care of the women, but these are just one out of men. And in this regard, I want all the men here present to give a, a resounding clap for the women of Nigeria. <laughs> that we really are doing a lot for the society. It's the only body God has given us is to take care of the home. It is the economy that has given us the additional body of also being the provider for our family. And my prayer is that the Almighty will continue to help our male folk so that they do not, especially the Nigerian male folk, 
Many of our Nigerian men, because it is possible to have two, three, four, five women, and I'm appealing through this venue to our men. It is a thing for you to let a woman do that, which is your rightful duty to do. If you have five women in your life, and you believe it's the woman who should carry out your duty, believe you me, all the blessings are going to that woman. <laughs>
Our children need to be the priority in our lives. I was telling them that if you have a, a, a child that has another child, what, do, what knowledge do you want that child to impart to that child that she has had? Therefore, you must please make it a point to educate your women. When you educate your women, your women too will educate the children they bring to bear. If you men, if you are going to be honest, if you are going to be honest with ourselves, you will know that how much time do you have for the upbringing of, the, of your God-given children. Invariably, you are busy trying to make some, somebody of yourself. You want to be somebody in the society. You want to make a name for yourself. You have the hope. You have the wife. If your wife is an illiterate or is ignorant, is that illiteracy and ignorance that she's going to pass on to your children? It is only if you are sure or if you make sure that you marry a woman who, who, whose lifestyle you make sure is, uh, uh, is uh, related to your own lifestyle, that you can be sure of the type of children you are uh, living for posterity. Don't leave it to any teacher to say the teacher that is going to help me to bring up my children. The teacher can only do so much. There is a little that the teacher can do. The children are with the teacher maybe about uh, six hours or eight hours in a day. The rest they spend with you. And when they say they spend with you, maybe they spend it with the women. So I'm appealing to everybody here, and I want you to talk to others. We are making sure that we are minding our own business in Nigeria too much. It is not African culture. If you are telling your neighbor what he's doing is not correct, you don't have to fight him. Little word here and little word there. We go a long way. Don't let us live to posterity. Something that when we look back, even the Almighty will not be happy with us. I'm not a preacher, but sometimes like this one, I feel like well, I, I always judge a God game before I decide to, to give whatever God has asked me to give to that God game. You are all mothers, you are all fathers. I'm appealing to you, don't let Nigeria become a Nigeria we will all not be proud of. Check out who is your neighbor. Don't because of money get tenants that you don't know the, the wherewith of their making their money. Because you may be having a tenant who has given you so much money only for him to start corrupting your children through use of hard drugs or through introducing them to hand dropping. So I'm appealing to you. Please take care of the little, little things in your life and the big ones will surely fall in place. <laughs> the chairman of this occasion, respected Rotarians, members of the Inner Wheel Club, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again I congratulate the Inner Wheel Club of the Jew and wish all its chapter members and other members to, that will join them continued success in their pursuit of better life for humanity. I thank you for listening to me. I thank you for giving me the opportunity. And I pray that God will continue to bless you.